In this video, we'll make a candy jug from a capture made in 123D Catch. When you download the 3D files, the OBJ file will come with JPEG and MTL files. Keep them all in the same folder. That's because when you import the OBJ, if the others aren't there, then the texture will not import. Launch Mesh Mixer and then go to File, Import Textured and bring in the OBJ. The texture will come in with it. Let's look at how to navigate this app. Hold the space bar down and that brings up Pan and Zoom and Fit which fills the screen with the whole model. Press T and that brings up the transform tool and its widget with which you can orient the capture to match the grid. Now drag the left mouse button after you click select. You have to make closed loops, hit delete and that gets rid of the mesh you don't want. There's the slider. The globe will bring in the imported texture. So there, there's the actual capture. Now to get rid of more, you can draw a laser line and that will select everything on one side or a closed loop to select everything inside it. You can increase the brush size. All the brown is the selected portion and hit delete. Draw a loop with the left mouse button depressed and get rid of that little bit. Now at Edit Plane Cut, cut the bottom of the head off orient the plane properly, click the arrow buttons to increase or decrease the snapping numbers, and then drag the widget down. I'm choosing no fill, and then I click accept, and no fill leaves the head hollow. Let's get rid of that. Hit delete. And you can see what some of the other sliders do. That's the default slider. Click or type W, that brings up the mesh. You can see that's a very dense one. We'll be reducing some of it later. Go to Analysis Inspector, that shows you where the holes are. Click Auto Repair All, and it will fix the bottom. The head is still hollow, but the bottom is sealed. Now I want to put a hole at the top with a stamp, but first, with the Reduce Mesh brush, I'm going to reduce the mesh because it will make selecting a lot easier. All those tiny polygons are hard to select. So you can adjust the strength and adjust the brush size and you get different results. Now click on stamp and then drag it to the size you want. It's colored because I've got view set to see it you want color group checked. Now select the stamp. And this is a bit tricky. Go around the edges so you can see where a larger or less dense mesh is easier to select because you're selecting individual polygons. And if you select too many, 
then hold the shift key down and run the selection brush over them. I'm holding the shift key down and I'm clicking on each of those pieces that got inadvertently selected. When you're done, then just hit delete and you'll have a hole at the top. Have some more fun with the sliders here. The transparent one lets you see inside if there are internal problems. Put the default back on. Now we're going to put a smoothing brush on it to smooth down all those bumps. Can even smooth around the edge of that hole. Could do this all day, but when you get it to how you want finish up. Go to Analysis, Unit Scale, and then here you can adjust the size of it. Just type in what you want, and then choose the units. You'll be given that choice. And now it's just about ready for 3D printing.